does dairy cause hair loss? Well, this question is a little bit tricky because first we have to understand why dairy would cause hair loss. Dairy would cause hair loss because dairy contains DHT precursors. These DHT precursors could essentially speed up the process at which you lose your hair if you're genetically predisposed to male pattern baldness. Because when you're genetically predisposed to male pattern baldness, the understanding is that certain hair follicles on the top of the head are sensitive to this DHT. Now DHT comes from testosterone when it interacts with this enzyme in your body called 5-alpha reductase. And so if you're genetically um, sensitive to these DHT in the top of your hair follicles and you're drinking dairy, which already contains those DHT precursors, then it will probably, more than likely, um, speed up the rate at which you're losing your hair. That's just one of the ways that dairy could cause um, a person to lose more hair. Not to say that dairy in and of itself causes a person to go bald, but rather that dairy is one particular food item that helps move along that process if you have it in your genetics. Um, because, you know, we'll see people that drink dairy but have full heads of hair without receding hairlines. And that's just simply because it's not in their genetics to go bald. Now, they may have some other underlying health problems, which are a result of drinking dairy, because dairy has been linked to many health challenges and complications. For me in particular, um, dairy causes constipation. It causes me to get acne. And again, the dairy may be causing the acne because of the DHT precursors, which has been directly linked to acne as well. So, you know, dairy is certainly not on the top of the list when it comes to a health-promoting food. Now, some would say that raw dairy is much better for you. And while it's true that raw dairy isn't pasteurized, it's not homogenized, and would likely contain a lot of CLA and omega-3 fats and other valuable nutrients due to the cows consuming grass on pasture, it nevertheless still contains those DHT precursors and along with many other hormones, um, bacteria, and <clears throat> other things that could absolutely throw your body out of balance. Um, we must remember that dairy doesn't contain fiber and you know dairy is loaded with calories and fat and from my own personal experience of drinking upwards of a gallon to two gallons of raw milk a week um, it will definitely add weight to you um, I noticed it first in my stomach area in my chest, my love handles, I was uh, gaining weight and I felt more uncomfortable as time went on. So I discontinued the dairy and I lost more weight and I could start to see my abs again. So, you know, dairy is one of those things that, you know, absolutely can cause a lot of different health challenges for people. And you really wouldn't know unless you, you know, eliminated it from your diet for a month or two and then tried reintroducing it to see the effects. Now, if a person doesn't eat, you know, consume dairy, cow's milk or anything like that, and once in a while it has a little bit of milk or, you know, a little bit of cheese, and I'm talking about, like, maybe once a month, and the amount is very minimal, it's not going to have an impact. What I'm talking about is people drinking eight ounces of milk every day, um, lots of cheese. I mean, a lot of people um, can't control themselves when they consume dairy because it's got that addictive quality to it. 
the whole point of milk is for the cow or for the baby cow to go back to its mother to drink that milk and there's certain things in the milk that causes the baby cow to go back to its mother to drink it and likewise when we drink that we're getting those same types of things in that milk which causes us to want to go back to drink more and more and more of it so it does have it does certainly have an addictive quality to it um, and that's something that a lot of people should be aware of so another point worth noting is that dairy has you know been said to contain all of this calcium which is great for our bones yet countries that drink the highest amounts of dairy have the highest rates of osteoporosis places like Denmark Sweden um, you know, we could simply say that, well, where does the cows get their calcium? Do they drink milk from other cows from their own species? Of course not. Only the young are drinking from their mothers. But cows are getting their calcium directly from the earth, from grass and vegetation. So when we think of calcium, we should really be thinking of the color green instead of the color white. It's only because of our society that we live in today and we grow up and we think and equate cow's milk with calcium so we're thinking in terms of white you know the color white but really we should be thinking of terms of green you know wild green leafy vegetables and wild herbs outside and that's another topic for wild foraging that we could definitely get into but there's many herbs that are extremely rich in calcium and bone building nutrients so all in all, um, dairy in and of itself does not cause a person to go bald. But if a person is genetically predisposed to going bald and they drink dairy, dairy could be a food that aggravates the condition and further speeds up along that process. So, you know, there's many others that would say, dairy is so great for you, you know, and drink it and all that stuff. Um, I think what happens a lot of times, and especially from the Weston A. Price Foundation, is they overemphasize uh, dairy, and they almost make it into as like this superfood. You know, you have this superfood paradigm, and people group all of these different foods and throw them in all the superfood category, when in reality there is no food that is a superfood. A food is just a food, and food is has nutrients in it that nourish our bodies one food is not greater than another food because all foods contain certain nutrients that are beneficial to the human body at least that's the way I think we should approach food we shouldn't try to say that one food is better than another food and that food's not as good as that food you know all foods serve purpose 